Hey everyone, what's up? It's Babylonius from PeakofSerenity.com uh, here with, finally, my Antorus Trinket Guide. Uh, I have to apologize for this taking so long, um, but honestly, I just forgot about it in the mix of work and everything else. So here it is, finally, several weeks and months uh, late. Um, so we'll get started and put five minutes on the clock and I'll explain the trinkets. Here we go. All right, so the first trinket... Uh, on the list is Amonthul's Vision, or Amonthul's Vision, uh, and as you can see, it's got a bunch of secondary stats. It's got 1430 of each secondary stat, as well as the Pantheon proc, um, which increases your agility by an enormous chunk, uh, and your spells and stuff. It's got its normal proc, which increases speed, avoid, and stuff like that. So uh, this is a decent trinket, really, by virtue of it being level uh, item level 1,000. Uh, and a legendary, and having so many secondary stats. It is not, however, super, super strong uh, for Windwalkers because we typically value agility over um, secondary stats. So it's strong. It's one of the best just by virtue of it being item level 1,000. Um, but, you know, were it to be compared with other things at a similar item level, it's really just not going to be all that strong. Uh, but it's good enough if you get it. It doesn't take up a legendary slot. It does take up a Pantheon trinket slot. So really, you're probably going to use this until your Golganets is somewhere between 975 and 985 or 990, depending on uh, what other stats and your stat weights and stuff like that. So you know, as per usual, it's best to sim what's best for you. So next uh, is Forge Fiend's Fabricator, and that's from Kingaroth. Um, this has mass static mastery as well as your attacks will drop some fire mines, which are pretty cool, uh, and they will explode after 15 seconds, or you can use the trinket uh, to explode them all at the same time. So this is a very cool trinket. I enjoyed playing around with it. Uh, it's not particularly strong, um, again, kind of by virtue of not having a ton of agility on it, where, you know, Windwalkers really want to look for... Uh, a, as much agility as we can um, but it's a decent trinket if you're using serenity for some reason uh, you can time the, the mines and blow up all the mines inside of serenity for an extra good solid chunk of damage uh, but really it's not super useful it's one of the stronger trinkets in uh, Antorus but that's really because the there's a huge difference between the top trinkets and the bottom trinkets um, as you'll see so it's kind of in the middle decent not particularly fantastic but not particularly terrible either and it's kind of fun just to have mines scattered all over the place so next uh, Golganess Vitality and this is the main kind of agility uh, Pantheon trinket that Windwalkers want it's got a big chunk of agility uh, it's got a proc on it that causes uh, Damage causes a little tornado, and the Pantheon proc causes AoE damage. Uh, the Pantheon proc, because it uses, it's based off your auto attacks, it's really not very strong for Windwalkers, uh, but the chunk of agility and the Ravaging Storm uh, proc is pretty decent. Uh, so this is really, um, again, similar to Amon Tools because it can go up to item level 1,000, really just typically our strongest trinket. Uh, you're probably going to use it 100% of the time, you know, almost regardless of what content you're going to do. So this is very strong. It's the one that everyone wants. You upgrade it. Um, as you can see, mine is 985 at the moment. Um, so you upgrade it and want to uh, use that pretty much all the time. Uh, next, we have Gorshalax Legacy. This is really the weakest of the trinkets for Windwalkers um, because it's got haste, which is our least desirable stat, as well as a proc that's based on your melee attacks, uh, which Windwalkers don't do all that much of. So really, it's just overall very weak uh, for Windwalkers. It's very strong for some classes, but for Windwalkers, it's pretty darn weak. Uh, so next, we got the Seeping Scourge Wing, and that's from... Uh, Verimothris. Uh, it's got versatility, which uh, if you've simmed yourself recently and you've got a reasonable enough item level, you might see that versatility is one of your stronger stat weights. Uh, so it's decent, uh, but again, it's based on your melee attacks. Uh, and our, we don't auto-attack all that often. Um, so the proc rate does kind of uh, normalize due to different weapon swings and stuff, but again, this isn't a super strong trinket for Windwalkers. Um, the versatility is nice, but not as nice as being able to get a good chunk of agility. Uh, and last but not least, uh, we really have the strongest of the trink of the non-Pantheon trinkets from Antorus, and this is the Shadow Singed Fang uh, from uh, Fellhounds. And what it does, it has two separate procs, um, one for the Shadow Dog and one for the Fire Dog. Um, 
the one increases your your agility by uh, a huge amount. Uh, it's very strong. It's a nice chunk of agility. It has a relatively high uptime, uh, as well as the second one, which have your auto attacks, have a chance to increase your crit. Uh, crit is not, most of us have a bunch of crit, so crit's not super desirable, but it never hurts to have um, an extra amount of crit on a proc like this. So it's a very strong trinket, typically the one that most people uh, are going to roll with, as you can see, I'm using them right now. Um, I wish I would have been able to get a mythic one, but now we're progressing on Argus, so I'm not going to be able to get a mythic one until we're done there. Uh, but yes, yeah, so typically, if you're going to be picking trinkets from just here, Saddle Singed Fang and Golganeth are two of the strongest trinkets Windwalkers have available, uh, really, at uh, from any content. So those are the two that you're going to want to try and get the most, uh, <clears throat> because they're the strongest. That chunk of agility and the very high uptime on Sato Singed Fang uh, makes it makes them both very good and very popular. So uh, hopefully this explains everything. I went a little bit over five minutes as I normally do in these videos. Um, but thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry again that it took so long for this video to get out. I really was just kind of reminded this morning that I hadn't put it out. Uh, so thank you for watching. Make sure to support Pika Serenity through Patreon and PayPal. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can follow me on Twitter at Babylonius Monk. Uh, check us out in Discord if you have any questions or stuff like that. There's links to a lot more resources, mostly pretty much entirely the stuff that's on Peak. So make sure you check all that stuff out. And until next time, uh, good luck and have fun.